A warm welcome back to the Western Wilds on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 6 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm heading to the train yard. You can just look in my left mirror and see we've got logs, we've got another full load. Um, everything's better at the train yard. So, uh, yeah, we'll sell this load, see what we get. I'm going to lease a cedar. Um, actually, no, I'm going to buy a fertilizer and lime spreader first, and then we're going to do the seeding and then I think we're going to do the um, open air garden greenhouses well, that was right nearly 30 grand 120,000 214 that will do nicely uh, yeah I'll take the tractor it's going to take a while because it's just a little bit slower that's all. and uh, I've decided the one I spoke about in the previous episode I said about getting the Amazon one trailed one that holds up to 18,000 litres doesn't it it's quite expensive the one I'm going to get is the Lizard what's that AD 7000 I think it is um, oh the other thing I've, I've changed again having said about it in the previous episode and I thought you know what I really should so I haven't done it for fruiling but I have on here I'll, if I get round to it I'll do it on fruiling in the the episode description on every episode from now um, I've put in the mods used all the mods that I'm using on the let's play and I'm adding to them as I you know introduce new ones in uh, they're not they're in order they were in the mod hub actually not as I've added them because I've just put them in today so they are in there um, and I'm trying to look down the list to see what I, what I was going to use because it's mixed in with <laughs> it's now uh, dear. it's in there somewhere when I find it, I'll I'll say what it is. Isn't that weird? How can I not see it? I got it. It is the Lizard AD 7000 by Langrio Modding. That's who it's by. So it's a 7000 litre, so I'm going to have to fill it up. I'm going to get. I was looking in the map actually. I. I Am I, I might be being blind. I can't find um, a lime refill point. So up at the main store area, we have... And it's been there right since I started the Let's Play. We've got uh, a viable um, multi-fruit... Um, a multi-fruit viable point. <laughs> I'm having a nightmare today. I need to shake it off. Multi-fruit buying station. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, so I'm going to get lime from there. We're going to be using the farm supply pack like I said supplied by the lot that's going to help us with our seed and our fertilizer so we're going to get both those fields done we're going to grass the left we're going to wheat on the right uh, and then I'm going to get the open air greenhouses by Omatana I think we're going to get two or three they're only two grand each um, and we're going to oh yeah we'll have to buy something today probably for transporting water um, even if I do put a water point in I'm hopefully going to put them right along the river. Now there are water buy points or water points around the map, so I'm not sure. I, I don't think I'll be able to get water from the river. If I can, brilliant. If I can't, I'll probably put a water point in, or I can drive to the different water points on the map. It doesn't really matter. One, one, two, or three of those. Are. We'll, we'll pick whichever option works, and we'll kind of go from there, really. Um, oh yeah, that's something as well. I was talking to Rob. I had, I have a lot of conversations with Rob. And um, we were talking about um, schools and education, and he was saying about me having been a teacher, and he was talking about his son's teachers, and um, it was one of those conversations. He, he said to me, "Would you be able to give a shout out to teachers?" And initially, I was a bit like, "What?" And a bit, um, I, I guess I could. And he kind of listed all the reasons why, and I thought, you know what, he's absolutely spot on. I don't, I don't teach. I say, well, no, I suppose doing this sometimes I teach people, you know. And I've said this again on Let's Plays before. Teaching is one of those jobs that no matter whatever happens in the world, there could be an apocalypse. There could be anything could happen. <laughs> You're always going to need teachers. Now, not necessarily in the educational, formal school sense. But any time you need to learn something, somebody's going to teach you it. That's a teacher. Anyone that teaches you anything, a life lesson, a skill, uh, whatever it might be, 
you've been taught something by a teacher. Some teachers are better than others, of course they are. Um, and it depends what subjects and that kind of thing. And he said, you know, sometimes it's a thankless task for teachers. You know, you do it for the love of it, you do it for the enjoyment of teaching. Um, I know here in the UK it's certainly not for the pay. <laughs> it never was. Um, so could I give a shout? So you know what, yeah. All te if you are a teacher, have been a teacher, if you're a future teacher, if you're training to be one, you're thinking about it. I'm going to tell you now from experience, again from here in the UK, it's not easy. It's hard work, it can be very long hours, it can be very unforgiving and you don't always get a lot of thanks for what you do. And when you do, that's what makes it even more special. Um, whether it be from pupils or parents or whoever it is that's thanking you. And, and again, you don't do it for thanks, nobody does. You know, anyone that does something like that, it's a vocation, it's, a, it's, it's a, something you're, I suppose, predisposed to do. Um, but, you know, just thank you to all teachers. Whatever, you know, the, the special educational needs teachers that I worked with, those guys for me were head and shoulders above any of, any of the normal standard teachers I ever worked with because the skill sets and the um, what's the word I'm looking for the the mental capacity to, to deal with um, certain situations they're just very special people it's like nurses and anyone that, that puts themselves out there into very very difficult situations and circumstances and does it day in day out with a smile on their face and, and just get some of it incredible they're just amazing people so yeah there you go for teachers everywhere thank you very much for being you i know it sounds a bit kind of but it was yeah it's a conversation we had and i thought yeah he's right why shouldn't we um what was the other thing i was going to say there was a couple of things and i wanted to make sure i didn't miss anything it'll come to me again i'm sure it will um Oh yeah, it was about manure, it's behind me. Um, this was also with Rob. Um, he was saying, I was saying about the sawmill, and he said he's got some Amish friends that live nearby, and they wanted to help with the building of a sawmill, or they could help provide manure. So what we've done is we've agreed a deal with the livestock market, and the Amish population not far from here are going to be supplying manure to the livestock market. And right here, I can come and well, I'll buy it, I'm not getting it for free, I can come and get manure from here uh, whenever I need it. So they're going to deliver it here and I can come and get it from here whenever I need it. I don't know how expensive it's going to be, but we'll just, you know, we'll make the best of it. So, let's get the fertiliser spreader, lime spreader first. Like I said, I'm going to go for the AD. I'll probably regret that when I get part way through and I have to keep coming back and then say to myself, I really wish I'd got the 18,000 litre one, but the 18,000 litre one, that one there's 85 grand, which is great, and the capacity is amazing, but I think price-wise at the moment, we might get one of those later on, but to start off with, 7,000 litres is not to be sniffed at, especially with fertiliser. 23 grand? I'm, I'm not knocking that at all. Uh, licence plate, I don't want to leave her licence plate on there, do I? Uh, let's go, okay, and we will buy it because we're going to need it a lot. That goes out to 42 metres. We'll go to the buy silo and we'll get lime. And we'll lime the fields first. I'm going to lime the grass one. I haven't planted grass in quite a while. I'm trying to think the last time I planted grass. I was just reading, actually, um, an announcement from Lancy Boy regarding Stone Valley. He said he was getting asked a lot of questions if he was adding alfalfa to Stone Valley 22 and he's delivered on his promise to the farming community. Alfalfa is now working on Stone Valley 22. All platforms will have alfalfa and yes, you can bale it. So you'll be able to cut the alfalfa and bale. I missed it. This is just another type of grass, isn't it? But it, yeah, you'll be able to bale it. That's pretty cool. Like that. I'm nothing if not information sharing service as well, where I can be. Yeah, I've been looking at the sawmills, and I, for some reason, I had it in my head. I thought there was a really cheap. How much is that? Oh, that was a bit more pricey than I thought it was going to be. Well, I suppose it was 7,000 litres. Oh, we'll just cut down an extra tree. <laughs> it's not a problem. We'll save money on fertiliser anyway, so that'll be fine. 
but the, the line we're going to get to fairly fast because if it spreads it to 42 meters I think we're going to get through it at quite a rate turn it again I <laughs> started saying something and it's gone doesn't matter I'm having a great old time oh yeah update update on uh, my brother Graham Graham makes stuff his channel Man Cave Beer Reviews was his other one that he did um, on his coast to coast in the first two days of his the full two days of walking he did his first well he did the Falklands 40 uh, the first day he, t he said he wanted to put in a marathon day I said that he did 25.8 miles the following day he did 23 I think it was so he did 40 miles straight off the bat and then we didn't hear anything from him not yesterday the day before there was nothing no pictures nothing of I was a bit like oh no that's worrying yesterday he then posted saying he'd had no internet for quite a lot of the time on the previous day he did 27 miles and another 23 respectively honestly <laughs> blimey I mean that's knocking on that's just shy of 100 miles in four days that's insane absolutely crazy but he's going strong and you know uh, like I said, I think I've left the link in the description for the Falklands 40. He's doing it for a charity. He's doing four lots of the Falklands 40, but, you know, you only have to do one lot of it if you want to. Uh, if anyone would like to donate, I'm not forcing anyone, I'm not begging anyone. I know I did have a comment, someone messaged me and say it, it's, I shouldn't be begging people. I'm not begging anybody. If you've got a little bit to spare, great. If you haven't, don't. Don't worry, it's not a problem. You know, it's absolutely fine. But if you have, it would be wonderful. So let's see how far we get with 7,000 litres. If it goes to 42 metres, I'm going to be wanting to be about there. Is that about right? Let's have a look. Oh, no, I'm going further that way. Let's go there. Now it's ploughed as well. I might be able to get away with hiring a worker. Well, I should be able to get away with hiring a worker. But, yeah, I mean, we're honking through it. But that said, I mean, we'll do probably a couple of runs, maybe three. It's not far to go, you know. We're not having to negotiate country lanes and tracks and fences and hedges and we're just quite happily oh no there we go, I've reached the limit. Went a little bit too far out that way. Fantastic. Okay, that's alright. I mean forty two meters spreading of lime, oh man, that's just amazing. I know when we had one of the lime spreaders when I did I think it was when I did Stone Valley um, and it was out to 20 something and that at the time was like oh man that's brilliant it makes life so much easier this is insanely good uh, so yeah we'll do we'll get the seed in the ground um, it will need rolling I think I'm going to use a, I've got a good Le Matador um, that one I've just realised I haven't written in the description but I will do if I use it um, but the seeder we're going to use a Kirkling Kirkling Jockey 600, I believe, we're going to be using. Um, I'm pretty sure that's by ARM team. We're going to be looking at that. Uh, it says it requires 180 horsepower, I think. Or maybe 160. It might be 160. So we're a little bit underpowered, but we are on the flat. So I'm really hoping that we shouldn't have an issue. Okay, we're going to need to do a few runs, aren't we? Am I going to get to end of here before it runs out? I am stopped. No! Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Nearly end up in the water. Never mind. So what I will do now is I will finish this off. We'll get the liming done. So I reckon we're going to be looking at three, maybe four. Oh, that lasted longer than I thought it was going Cool. And I'll see you back here when it's done. Um, I will get... I really do like this. It's really handy. It's not putting loads of strain on the three-point link. I know in reality in the game it doesn't make any difference. It's not, you know, I'm not overloading it. But it does mean I don't have to put a front weight on. If I've got a lot of weight over that back axle on the three-point link, often you'll need to put a front weight on. It just makes life a little bit easier. So it's a fantastic bit of kit. I like it. Uh, so yeah, we'll get it limed, and then um, I did turn filled stones off, as you can probably tell, I didn't get any stones come up. Uh, probably a bit naughty, I probably should have done them, but yeah. 
<laughs> when someone brings out a, a rock picker that's like you know 12 meters wide 15 20 like a proper monster rock pick i know they don't exist. i know you know rock picking especially if you get big rocks the further out you go from the track to to get that lift to get big rocks out it, you know it's not that straightforward it's, I, I get that but anyway uh well i'm just uh, i'm in a very serene is that the word very serene place at the moment doing this um I, yeah, i'm just very happy with how it's going and i'm happy with you know the progress and it's just it's all working you know um who is it message messaged me this morning um Oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey messaged me to say uh, good morning, and he said, "Looking forward to your video today." So I just put "me too" with a smiley face because I am. And then he said, "What will you be doing?" And I and I just messaged back honestly. I was just wondering that myself. I'm I'm very kind of I'm just enjoying the process. I'm enjoying, you know, not quite knowing what I'm going to be doing. I've got a plan. I know I said it in the last episode. I don't want to keep harping on it. I've kind of got a plan, but it's not fixed in place, and it can be a bit fluid. And it's quite liberating. You know, I was very, with No Man's Land, when that came out, I didn't do a Let's Play on it when that first came out on FS19. I found it quite daunting, that whole thing of, look, this is an open map, and you can do whatever you want, and everyone's like, I can't wait to see what you do. And for me, I've never suffered with anxiety before. Not, you know, not, I don't have anxiety attacks or anything, I know people do, and they can be really debilitating. But I started to get a little bit like, I found that a lot of pressure, because I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to go with it, I didn't know where to start with it. So I didn't. I just stepped away from it. Um, doing this, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm just really enjoying, you know. This is one of those ones I can see going a really long way. A lot of episodes. Because this is, what, episode six? We, we're just building up our equipment, which I suppose is how it should be. It's taking a while. You know, we we haven't started with loads of fields. We haven't started with loads of stuff. Um, we, we are building up. And again, in my head, I can't imagine at this precise moment in time where it's going to end up. I can't imagine what we're going to have, what the map's going to look like, how much will it have changed. You know, I, I just don't know. And also, in that period of time, what new stuff will come out, what new stuff will become available. I haven't even thought about doing wood chipping, because there's a few different things out there that require wood chips. And I thought, oh, yeah, well, there's, and there are some brilliant wood chipping mods. There's one due out from um, Black Sheep Modding, which is... Oh, oh, wow, it mean, just looks incredible. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. Um, oh, what's it called? Is it a tub? It's a tub grinder. I think it is the tub grinder. And I think it, in one format it does bales, another it does wood into wood chips, another one, what's it do? Oh, stones. I think, I think the stones into lime, I think. Pretty sure it does. It's, it's massive. It's like towed behind a lorry, and it. Oh, it's incredible. So yeah, who knows where we're going to go? Right. I know I did say. <laughs> I will see you in a bit, and I really will this time. Uh, we'll get the uh, cedar curdling, and hopefully this will pull it. We'll get the seeding done, um, and then fertilising, and then I might roll it off screen. The good Matador is a uh, six meter. I think it is. So it shouldn't take too long. And again, if I can hire a worker on there, I can get a worker going, and then we can kind of turn our attention maybe to the Omatana. I think what I might do while I'm doing this, maybe try and get one of those put in, you know, get the building process. The building process done. It's 10.47. The liming is complete. I have got two pallets of fertiliser, solid fertiliser from the farm supply packet. I just say remembered there isn't a seed pallet in that pack so i'm going to have to get seed from them the, that's not too much of a problem uh that holds seven thousand these are five thousand that is each four they only cost one thousand each to buy if you're not aware of it this farm supply pack has got a ton of stuff in it but not seed <laughs> um five thousand liters for a thousand uh, you can't odds it it's, it's really good value especially with fertilizing solid fertilizing it's absolutely perfect so what i'm going to do first is fill this up so i'm ready to do the fertilizing oh hang on oh i've just realized what i've done I have just realised what I've done. Done it again, haven't I? I got overexcited and I didn't think. When I did my jobs yesterday, if we go to our field and we go to that, 
It doesn't need it, does it? Uh, okay, well, we'll have it for next time. <laughs> That's 5,000. I'll stick the other lot in. Oh. Never mind, it doesn't matter. It's there ready for, you know... Normally I'll be like, oh yeah, get a load of that, because if you're doing fertilising contracts, you can save so much money, and you can maximise your profit. There's no contracts. I'm, I'm doing a no-contracts let's play, so um, that's not going to help me. Well done. But that'll help me for next time I need to do a big field of fertilising. I mean, I could go over it if I wanted to, but there doesn't seem a lot of point. So, cedar. I said I was going to get the Kirkling Jockey 600. I'm pretty sure that's what I said I was going to get. Hang on, I've gone past him, haven't I? Why am I being blind as a bat? Oh, there we go. Cedars should be all the way out here now. There we go. 44 grand to buy, which is amazing. Yeah, 160 horsepower required, so we're short by a bit. But we can do our wheat and we can do our grass. Um, I think I'm going to do wheat. I can feed the chickens, wheat or barley. Yeah, we'll do wheat. Might as well. And we can do our grass with that as well. So we are just going to lease it. I'm not going to change anything. I don't need to. I don't, like I said, I don't need to leave her license plate on it. Let's take that off. Uh, and we'll lease it. 2,269. That's not too bad at all. So what we'll do is... <laughs> soon to be the moment of truth where we find out whether or not we're going to be okay for this working on the field. Again, it's flat. I don't see any reason at all why it won't pull it. We can get it working on the first of our open air... I keep saying greenhouses. I mean, they're open air gardens, open air greenhouse. Because it does, it, like I said, in the winter, it does put um, a cover on it. I mean, it is an open air garden, is what the actual mod is. But, right. What well, is this whole 2800? Does the cover not open? Can't. Sure, I've done is unfold the seed to put seed in it. That would be uh, interesting. There's nothing to open seed. Is it not going to take the seed from here? Oh, okay. I've got to do pallets of seed. Boo! What's the point of having this? <laughs> I can come here and buy seed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, because I had the same problem the other day with auger wagons and not getting the option come up to open cover. So I'm wondering if, it, if it's that. If it's not, then I'll just get it from pallets. Um, yeah, bear with me. I'm just going to check this. Well, there's a bit of information sharing for you. Um, if you're having the same problem, and this has happened to me a few times on different maps now as well recently. I don't know if it's a mod conflict or something has happened we haven't had a game update or anything if i now do the option i've got open cover which i was trying to do before and it wouldn't work so yeah i saved the game came out came back in and i've now got the option and now i can start filling with seed that's peculiar 1889 for 2800 liters yeah so if you're having the same issues uh you haven't got an option to open cover or something like that on whatever vehicle you're using um, yeah, save it, come out, come back in, and it should be back. I, I don't know why it's doing it. I thought I would double check because it only happened the other day when I was doing the mod review. I was saying, I was uh, reviewing part of, it was old oh, Mantrid's um, Organ Master, wasn't it? The Organ Master. And I, could, I had no option to open cover, so I messaged him and just said, look, just so you're aware, there's no option, it's not there. And when he went away and checked, it was all working. And he said, I don't understand it because it's there. On, on his PC it was there, on his Xbox it was there, on his PlayStation 4 it was there. So I thought, well, maybe it's me because I'm on PlayStation 5, maybe it's that. Um, so he suggested, look, we'll try it on a different map. So I came out, tried it on Elm Creek, straight away. Option was there to open cover. That's weird. So I went back onto my test map and the option was there. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. Just be aware of it if you're having any issues, if that pops up. Who knows? I think what we'll do while we're on the way out, let's open it up. We've got two big fields, six meter seed, it's going to take a while. Um, and now I don't have to fertilise, so that's great. What I'll look at next is a water container. 
I mean, to be fair, I want to get something fairly big, or, like I say, because I'm by the river, I can use water for the river, great. The fact that in the farming area there are at least three locations for buying water, I'm not, I'm not convinced you can, but I could be wrong. In which case, I might put in a standpipe or something like that. Potentially. Hmm. Let's uh, do that. Still miss my side panel. Someone messaged me recently actually and asked, um, was there any news on the side panel? No. I, in all honesty, because it's something that, again, Giant Sradman is Sony that did have done it. They've disabled the port access for it um, on PlayStation 5. But as I've said before, which I don't, I still don't get, you've either disabled the port access for the USB or you haven't. If I play FS22 on, on the PS4 version, but on the PlayStation 5, so PlayStation 5 console, PS4 version, side panel works. If I put the PS5 version on the PS5, the side panel doesn't work. So either they've disabled the port on the PlayStation 5 or they've disabled it for the ga it, I don't know. So it's still not working, so I certainly have no reason to go in and change that. I don't see why, I, I don't guess they feel that they need to. Um, so, wheat this side. Let's get it rocking and rolling. I did leave myself a gap, like I said, to out to the side. Um, I don't want any issues when it comes to harvesting. I don't want it saying I don't own the field, any of that nonsense. So I did leave myself a gap. But it's going to take a while. There's no two ways about that. But at least we will now get some crops underway. And then I'm thinking tomorrow it's been... So it'll be all of October into November. This morning, the both the silage clamps were just over 50%, I think, 53, 54% fermented. So by November, tomorrow, um, hopefully both silage clamps will be fully fermented, which means we can take the silage out. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this silage clamp yet, because I might keep that for animals, we'll see. But I'll definitely do one of the biogas plant, and we'll start getting some silage into the biogas plant. I'm hoping today as well, if I can get... Um, the gardens, open air gardens going, two of them I'm going to do potatoes, one I'm going to do sunflower. So we can, if we can get some potato pallets we can get potatoes in because the um, biogas plant takes potatoes as well. So again that's that's the plan, that's the theory, that's what I'm hoping for. This isn't using, well so it's not using as much as I thought it was going to. <laughs> We've still got a lot to go. It's, it's amazing isn't it? Like I said before, when you see a six metre cedar up close, you know, but looking at this now, in relation to the tractor, you think, oh, it's actually quite a small cedar, isn't it? When you think how big a tractor is, generally speaking, um, and when you see a six-metre cedar, you're like, whoa, that's huge. So I guess when you think about s the scale that we're actually seeding on. Mm. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is run the strip up the left-hand side, then I can let the worker go, and there's no risk, hopefully there's no risk, of the worker turning the wrong way and going over onto the field that I want to be grass. I don't want them putting wheat on that. So uh, that's why I'll run this strip up this way. So I started that in because that's where we got to first when we arrived. So yeah, that's what the strip in the middle is supposed to be for. It's supposed to stop that happening. So fingers crossed. We'll go from there. I obviously pressed tire worker, but I'm mistaken. So again, I mean, you can stick with me if you want to. I can do the next, um, I, we can just do a really long episode. I can't, maximum I can do 60 minutes on uh, PlayStation anyway, but we can just seed. But I think what we'll do is, as I normally do, we'll get this going. We'll let the worker crack on, and I can get on with the construction of the next of the uh, open air gardens. I don't know how to do... I might do four. I mean, it's, I'm still looking at with four open air gardens. It's eight grand. I might as well just do four. I'm going to be putting the water in anyway. Uh, hopefully, we'll whiz up to the actually, yeah, the livestock market. We'll go up to the livestock market. We can get them when you're there. So we'll have. Oh yeah, that's another good reason buying the solid fertilizer because I can put fertilizer in. Seed fertilizer and oh no, we use a manure for fertilizer, aren't we? 
seed, solid uh, um, manure and water is the combination, the recipe I'm going to be using. Because the manure should be cheaper to buy than... Why do you say, even saying that now? If I'm buying fertiliser pallets, 5,000 litres for 1,000, it might not be cheaper buying manure, it might be cheaper buying solid fertiliser, but we'll see. Anyway, I've done enough talking again. When we get to the end of the row, I'll turn it around just to make sure everything's okay. Get that cracking. And then hopefully when you see this next, we'll have almost finished. Or I, the worker will probably still be working away and we'll have grass on that side as well. And we'll get the rolling done. Seems to be struggling going this way more than it was going the other way. Then I'd say I'm short on horsepower, so, you know, there's always a potential risk for that. Shouldn't have any problems with runoff in so much as it turning round. Although I don't own the land next door, there's plenty of room for it to turn around, so we should have finished. It's 11.14, nearly quarter past 11. Um, I have the Adjuranti, I had it in wood configuration. I've now changed that back over into the four side. I've got on the back of here the Lizard SMP 3.0. Uh, this is a 10,000 litre liquid trailer. I used it on Carmsden. It only cost about four grand to buy. So for the time being, is again, absolutely perfect. I am looking, I did mention about getting the TLX 3500, swapping it out upgrading our pickup and thinking about that it makes even more sense because all the different backs that are available on that there's a there's a liquid container back on that there's one you can use for spraying for liquid fertilizer um, obviously there's the tip tipper back the, you know the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking that makes sense so our four open air gardens are in and we have got uh, a water point I did check the river and you can't get water from it, but anyway. So we've got a water point in. Uh, the other thing I done, did I mention or not? I can't remember if I did or not. I did put a toolbox in, that's Schultz modding. We've got a toolbox, so that's how I did the conversion. The reason I haven't been using this, uh, someone did ask actually, but I, I had two of those and I bought that. The problem is that comes with a PTO. So, and it doesn't have a rear trailer hitch, so you can't like link loads of those together, the Adjuranti. So it would mean having that with the Adjuranti on the back, because this has got a hitch, but then the PTO hangs down onto the floor. I mean, I, I could do in wood, config, wood trailer configuration, but then to be fair, when I just got 30 grand for filling that completely, I'm pretty sure when I had this and the one behind it and the pickup, I only earned about 33 grand. So in all honesty, that might be at a point where I'm not sure if I need it. But we'll see, um, you know. So I've changed the Adjuranti back over because once we've done the water in these and we need to go and get manure and then we're going to need seed so I'm going to have to buy some seed. It's going to cost a bit of money but again if I just do a full load and another great reason why I get in the telehandler in the last episode because we can now speed up our log production that I can get a trailer of logs much quicker and go and sell them if the price is good at the train yard and I get 30 grand I can cover the cost of a few things that I'm doing a lot quicker than when I was doing it by hand with the chainsaw. So um, this should sink down at the back. It shouldn't. I don't know how much weight it's going to put on the train hitch. Look at that drop in. A um, bit of wheel spin on the front, but not too bad. We'll get the water in all of these. There we go. Uh, I think these might hold 10,000 litres each, or are they 20s? I, I honestly can't remember. They're fairly large. And I've got four, so I'm going to do three potato and I'm going to do one sunflower. And at any point, I can switch those around. I can mix and match them. I can have one potato, one sunflower, one tomato, one strawberries, or, you know, if I stick another one in, I can have one doing each thing, you know, at two grand each. Actually, that's taken all of that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it looks like it's 20,000 each. Oh, I'm going to be back and forth a little bit. I mean, at the end of the day, it wouldn't be mad. Even if I'd got a, a, the 32,000 litre one and had a lorry, I'd still need to do multiple runs, so it doesn't really matter. I could have just backed up. Why did I just turn around? <laughs> All these processes today, it's like, I start off and say, I'll see you in a minute, because, you know, again, there's going to be eight trips, 
backwards and forwards to fill all those up. I've just realised, is that just, the, oh yeah, just to draw distance. I suddenly thought, if I put the fourth one on the end the wrong way around? I hope not. And then before the end of the episode, we should have both fields done. We should have some stuff growing in these. And then I can get with rolling. I'll start the rolling before the end of the episode. And then off camera, I'll get some more trees down. We'll get some more logs done. Um, then hopefully, what time is it now? 11, 18. It's going to be a while to get both those fields finished. I'm also thinking, do I want to put the extensions on these? How much are the extensions? Let's have a look. So this is, is it on the side of extensions? I can't remember. Yeah, it is there. 2,100. Supplementary water tank. That's more expensive than the entire garden was. But if I put a supplementary water tank there... Do I need one for each one? I can do, I guess. I'm going to put them in just to give us some extra. Like I say, I'll do some more. I'll do a bit, a bit more logging to cover the cost of them. So what they should be showing now is... Uh, what? Am I going mad? Silo extension. Oh, that's added them all up together, hasn't it? That says 5,000 litres, doesn't it? To me... That doesn't make sense. If that's 5,000 litres and that's 20, that makes that 25,000 litres, doesn't it? If it's added that to those, I've got 5, 10, 15, 20,000 litres, plus the 20,000 here makes 40, yet that's saying 35,000 litres. Let's scroll down to the next one. Um, that's put 20,000 litres into each of them. I don't know what's happening. I'm not knocking it. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to go back and fill them up. Putting those supplementary tanks in means I'm not going to have to touch water for quite a while. Why not? I'll have to check on the cedar in a minute, actually, and see how we're getting on. Now, that shouldn't take any more, should it? No. Let's check to see which one's filling up. Should be the second one. There we go. I don't know. So yeah, next job will then will whiz up. Actually, I need a tractor, don't I? Oh, I need a second tractor. I need to earn a load of money. Maybe that'll be the next thing tomorrow as well. If we'll have all of our... Um, we'll have our wood pallets, our boards, planks, sorry. We'll have our planks. So we'll make probably, well, depends on the price, maybe about 40 grand on those again. Maybe we need another tractor. I mean, say maybe, we definitely need another tractor. I might look at just getting one, then using that one for a bit of sort of shunting around work, and maybe look at a cheap alternative but large horsepower. There are a few knocking about. I know I, I've been kind of looking at options on these types of things, and we do have a few. Uh, where are we? That one, 79. That's, I used that on Carmsden. That works really well. I mean, that for the horsepower is insane at 260, but I haven't got that sort of money. Uh, and the medium tractors, have I got any installed? I'm trying to think what we had. Oh, yeah, we got this one. The Traction King goes up to 300 horsepower, starts at 70 grand. That might not be a bad option. Um, what else have we got? That Deutz far is 160. That's not too bad either. That's 180. It's quite slow, though. It's nine miles an hour. That's too noisy. Case International goes up to 179. We could go with one of those, an 86 series maybe. We do have some options anyway. And there are other ones available, so we are. I'm just thinking about moving all the stuff around that I need to move around. It 
It's 20 past 12, both fields are seeded. I'm coming up with Dadranti. We're going to go and we're going to get some manure. I'd like to say I have no idea what it's going to cost. I'm going to fill the trailer. And then what I'm going to do is probably dump it in the floor. We, we need to get a silo. We don't have a farm silo. I'm going to get a multi-fruit one. At uh, the end of the day, I could go with loads of separate silos. One put, putting seed in and we could put a little clamp for putting the manure in. And that kind of thing. But I think I'm going to store it. I'm going to fill the trailer because I, I honestly can't rem I can't remember how much manure the um, open air gardens are going to require. Should be a case of there we go. It shouldn't be mega expensive, really. We'll, we'll kind of see. It might even be cheaper getting it from the buy anything silo, but we'll, we'll get it here. It's been it's been supplied. We've got a lovely little lovely little wheelbarrow. I mean, I'm not sure that the wheelbarrow's got enough to fill that. I mean, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, and then we'll come back for the seed, and then, uh, yeah, good as gold. So that'll be, oh yeah, that was the other thing I was going to do. The, the, did I lease it? Did I already lease it? Yes, the Gutler. The Gutler Matador. Six metre wide roller. Uh, it does fold up, but we'll, we'll give that a shot. But I'll do that. Um, like I say, I'll probably end with that. I'll stick it on the back of the tractor, and we'll just start rolling. And that'll be those two fields good to go. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm, I'm now also, because I spoke about it earlier, I'm thinking of wood chips. What can I do wood chip related, you know? How much does that cost me? 1,484 for 45,000 litres of manure. Get in. Water. Oh yeah, silo. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking of a silo. I'm probably going to go with the, the Omitana ones. Again, we're starting out. I'm, I'm not, I haven't got the money, and it will take me ages to save the money to get a silo that's going to cost me 150, 200,000, 300,000 to buy. I'm pretty sure that that Omatana one that I used on Harmston, a lot of the sell points, was five grand. You know, that that's a couple of trees down, five grand, silo. If I just use it for putting the manure and seed in, I could have four or five of those. And although it's a multi-fruit silo and I could put loads of stuff in it because I'm pretty sure it's like a five million litre capacity or something. If we want to go down the route of it being a, a semblance of reality to it, I can, I can just say, you know what, I'll have multiple ones then. You know, I'll have one that will be main crop types. I'll have one that will take forage crops. I'll have what, you know, at five grand a pop, I could place six of them and it wouldn't matter. It really wouldn't, you know. So I, I might... Yeah, I might go down that route. I mean, it, yes, it seems excessive. And it, and it's maybe pandering to a, a subsect of people that might be cross about it. But in my own head, I'm thinking, well, yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't make sense. It's well, not to. But then you look the other way and think, well, why would you? <laughs> if you've got a silo that holds five million litres, why are you going to put six down when you can just put it all in one? So, I get, yeah, there's arguments both ways, I, I suppose. Um... We'll get this down. As far as seed goes, the manure I'm not so bothered about. If I if I finish filling up each one, I don't think it's going to take 45,000 litres to do all four. If it does, I'll come back and get some more. It's not expensive. Um, I don't mind dumping it on the floor. Like I say, I can put it into a silo, but having the manure in a pile, in, in a heap on the floor, it's not a problem. That's what you kind of do with manure. You have a manure heap. The seed is a different matter. I'm going to go to the buy anything silo, and I'm probably going to... I don't know how much to get though, because again, I can't remember how much they take. I might start off with like 8,000 litres. It's not going to be cheap. Or 10,000 maybe. And then when I'm done, I can unload what I've got left. Now I'm hoping it will unload onto, into pallets. If it does, just stick the pallets in my shed and we're good to go. You know, I, we'll work our, our way around it. Um, and as we move forward and we start to improve and increase on... I might even place one of those silos, the Meridian ones, where you can get seed delivered. I had one on Carmston, and it worked brilliantly. Up until the point I was producing my own seed, it just worked. So, why not, you know? That seeder has got about a hundred and something litres left of seed in it. That's all. Did both those fields, one with wheat, one with grass. No bother at all. So very happy with that. Come on. Oh, oh, I was not expecting that. I was just about to say, 
literally just about to say I probably need to look at getting oh, a, a tractor with more horsepower for doing jobs like this. And then what happens? <gasps> Come on. Bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a go, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> so I was gonna be stuck for good. I need to put something around that water that standpipe. Because I'm gonna drive into that, I know I am. So the moment of truth, how much is it gonna hold? Each one. I honestly can't believe the price of this improved. There we go. We're about to find out. Ooh, nummy. <laughs> Are these 20,000 litres of manure? Oh, I'm going to be back with some fours like nobody's business. That was a lot of manure. That was a lot more than I was expecting it to take. Why, do, why was I not expecting to take that much? Yeah, 20,000 litres. I wonder if I can bring the wheelbarrow down here. I wonder if they'd mind me bringing the wheelbarrow from the... I mean, uh, the reason it was there was just the simple fact that that's where the livestock market is. That's where manure's being produced, so that would be the logical place to have it. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter, does it? It's only one more trip. And I'll have about 10,000 litres left over, won't I? Yeah, I'll just do one more trip. just remember when I come back over the bridge on the way back I need a bit more oomph to it so uh, again next time I see you I'll probably have seed in here just trying to decide yeah what option to go down um, I think maybe even buying this yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to uh, I'm, I'm sure I mentioned a while back and I was saying about that the farm supply pack it'd be cool if that had um, seed in it it's got everything else it's weird isn't it that it doesn't maybe that's the reason I mean, I'm say that Maybe that's the reason why, because it would seem cheaty or unfair to put 5,000 litres of all of those things for a 1,000, including fertiliser. Why would you not have seed? <sighs> so I'm thinking all the time now, all these things whizzing through my head, it's brilliant. Um, I, I feel like I'm kind of, I'm in my stride, I'm getting my mojo, I'm, you know, I, I'm enjoying it and I'm, when I'm not playing I'm thinking about playing and I'm thinking about what I want to do next and how am I going to do it and what mods can I use and that kind of, you know, that fun element and that excitement is, is returning. Calms and I loved anyway, it, it was just a brilliant map and I was just having a great time on it, but this is a different, whole different beast. It's only me back again. Um, so that was I said that I had ten thousand that left. That was only if I'd unloaded the first five thousand I'd spare. Then went and got another full load of forty-five thousand. But I didn't, did I? Because I took five thousand back with me. So the five thousand litres I had left is right at the very end. I've dumped it in a pile. I went and got just over ten thousand litres of seed from the buy anything silo. That cost me about seven and a half grand. I'm sure I recall, or I'm, like I said, I may have misremembered this. It's like two thousand litres of seed oh no it's not oh dear that's going to get expensive <laughs> 10,000 litres just cost me 7 grand to do all 4 <clears throat> oh I thought that was going to be alright Okay, so I'm going to need to do some more logging off camera. I've, I have cut down some trees. I was doing that while the seeding was going on. Um, right, I'm, I've got to go and get some more seed. A load more seed. Um, about 30,000 litres of seed, actually. <sighs> I was, was going to end. I was going to finish it. I was like, I'll get the seed in. We'll get them all up and running. I'll come over here. I bought over the Guttler. I was going to get my rolling done. And, uh, yeah. Oh well, back again in a minute. It wouldn't be so bad if the tractor was faster, I think. And I was going to use the pickup, but like I say, the Pito then hangs down and, you know, I, I, I need a faster tractor. Or a lorry with a Pito. Mm, that would work.
we're back. <laughs> I was I was starting to panic. I, I to be honest with you, I I did thirty thousand liters, which came in less than than it did for doing just the first ten. It was about nineteen grand I, I paid for just over thirty thousand liters. So I was on top of the first bit as well. So I'm then thinking, oh, this is getting it's getting quite pricey. But that's what you've got to bear in mind. You have to think about it's not really. Yes, I've paid a lot for the seed, but if you think about each one of these green greenhouses as a set piece, the actual open garden greenhouse polytunnel in the winter was two grand. The extra water butt, butt at the back was 2,100, so we're up to 4,100. And we've put about seven grand's worth of seed in. So we're up to about 11,000. The water was free once I'd placed the thing and that was like five hundred dollars to place that so the water's gonna be free moving forward and the manure was negligible one thousand four hundred one thousand three hundred something whatever it was for forty five thousand litres so a negligible amount for the manure so each one of these has cost me eleven grand and that's with the water the manure and the seed put in that's only a little bit more than a large greenhouse standard with nothing put in it so actually it's not that bad. It, I, you know, I was, I was starting to think, oh no, this is actually costing me quite a bit of money. Yeah, I'm down to 31 grand. I'm going to have to do some more login. Of course I am. Um, what I'm going to do now is go into here. I can go into each greenhouse and do it. I think we've got a gate here. If we go in and we can do it from about here, I think. There we go. Um, I'm going to go down to the recipe that says potatoes, seed and manure. And I'm going to get that going. So now we've got that doing potatoes. The end one, I'm going to do, I think I was going to do sunflower. And this will box them. I'll have boxes of potatoes there by the side. Um, will it pay dividends? I think we're going to, yeah, we'll be absolutely fine. The potatoes will go to the biogas plant, the sunflower. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet. But we'll, you know, we'll think of something. Um, so this one, again, we'll go down till we find the one that's got the manure. Sunflower seeds and manure. Let's get that going. Happy days. And do the same with the other two. And once I've done that, I'm going to go, I'm going to roll both those fields. So the jobs I intended to do today, I have done. It has highlighted a few things. I, I'm going to definitely need to do some more logging, which I was going to have to do anyway. Potato, seed and manure. And um, as I said before, I can switch these at any point or any other of the crop types you can do in greenhouses. But I'm, I'm going to need another tractor. I mean, that was, again, that's, not, that's nothing new. Of course I was going to need another tractor. I wasn't going to go through the entire Let's Play one tractor. That, that was never going to be the case. But I'm just thinking maybe sooner rather than later. We'll see how that all pans out. I've got a little bit of seed left in that. And I'm thinking I might... Oh, no, I need the trailer for logging, don't I? Um, how much have I got in there? How much is that going to take? No. So this won't unload onto pallets, it will just unload on the floor. Which I don't really want to have to do. I'll decide what to do with that in a bit. I might unload it. I might get a silo off camera. I don't want to do too much in one go, you know. Anyway, that's our greenhouse is done, our open air gardens. So again, we are now, we're increasing, we're taking more shape, we've got more going on. Oh, brilliant. Very happy. Let's go and get the rolling done. And please, please, please join me in the next episode for more, <laughs> that's so fun and hilarity, it depends if you've been amused at any point, entertained, you may have, you may have learned something, you may be looking at equipment thinking, oh yeah, I could use that, or... I didn't know that existed, or, you know, I don't know. Or you might just be watching thinking, the guy's a buffoon and doesn't know what he's doing. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion. I am in a slight panic mode, and I shouldn't be, but I am going to save the game. Just in case this roller scours my seed clean from here. But it is a roller. There we go. We are rolling, which is where we need to be at. I've got a lot of rolling to do. You can just see from that angle with the, where the light is where we've rolled. Get both of these fields rolled and then I can leave them to grow. Then we're on to the next project. 
which will be, uh, what time is it now, one in the afternoon, I'm just trying to think if I'm going to get anything done between now and tomorrow morning, it'll probably just be more logging, I'll do more logging off camera, so I'll probably see you into November, the silage will be ready, uh, we might have some boxes of potatoes as well, because that's running, so maybe we can get some stuff over to the uh, biogas plant, if I've got enough from my logging, we might even buy the biogas plant, again, we'll kind of decide what to do from there, then we'll be producing methane as well, yeah, all good, I hope you've enjoyed it, if you have, please give us a like, if you don't subscribe yet, please do, if you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.